So Soul Simmers, I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to give you a quick 8 step tutorial on how to install mods in your Sims 4 game. Step 1 is to download the mod you want. For this video I've taken the UI Cheats extension mod from Weir's Brazil because it's one of the most used mods and it's easy to explain. This mod I downloaded from his Patreon. You can download mods from anywhere, the creator's website, Tumblr, in this case I'm downloading it from Patreon. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll find a download link for a zip file. So I'm going to go right ahead and download it and it will place it right into my downloads folder. Step two, we're going to hop into my downloads folder. And as you can see, we have the UI Cheats extension folder here, but it is also still zipped. For those of you who don't know, a zip file is basically a compressed file, which takes less space in your computer and is easier to download. But before we can use it, you're going to have to unzip it. I will link the tool that I'm using to unzip this file in the description box so you can go ahead and download that as well. It's called 7-zip and it's really easy to use. You just right click on the folder, go to 7-zip and say extract files. You're gonna hit OK and it'll, it'll extract the file for you and there you have the folder with which you can continue. For step 3, you need to find uh, your electronic arts folder. For the most people, it will be in their documents folder on their computer. So go ahead into this PC, documents, click electronic arts, the Sims 4, and then mods. As you can see, I have a ton of mods downloaded already. So please ignore these. In your case, this folder should probably be empty if you're a first time mod user. Step four is really easy. What you do from here on is you just grab this folder and you copy and paste it into your mods folder. Keep in mind, mods can only be one folder deep, so don't create a subfolder where you place all of your mods. It can just be mods and then directly the folder that contains the script and the package files. So again, mods, one folder that contains these files. If you put it deeper than that, so more folders, more layers, your Sims game won't recognize the mod and you won't be able to use it. So keep in mind, step five, only one folder deep. Then we're done on the computer side and we're gonna have to hop in game for step number six. So once you're in game, it's very simple what you'll have to do. Step number six is go to your settings. So you go to options, game options, and then go to the tab that is all the way at the bottom called other. And there's two checkboxes that you'll have to check. The first one is to enable custom content and mods. It'll prompt you with a pop-up that says that your game needs to be restarted for this to take change. You're just going to say OK. Then you're going to check script mods allowed. And again, it'll say um, that you need to restart your game. And it gives this disclaimer that uh, mods are supported by The Sims. But in case your game crashes, The Sims is not responsible. So you can use it at your own risk. For now, we're just going to click OK. We're going to say apply changes. And then step number seven is to restart your game. So once you're back in game, the only step left is step number eight, and that's to press play and start playing The Sims with all your mods enabled. If you like this video and it was in any way helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up, it would mean a lot, and don't forget to subscribe for more Sims 4 content. Happy simming, bye!